Uh, well, guys, today I'll talk a little bit on matrix. What is a matrix? I mean, well, matrix is nothing but a, a set of numbers which are represent, which can be represented or which are represented in terms of certain rows and columns. And these rows and columns are nothing but the, the variables. These are actually the variables bearing those numbers, and these numbers can be represented in in, uh, in ways of certain rows and columns. So when we talk about a matrix, uh, this matrix has to follow a certain order. Okay, suppose we have an A matrix here. We suppose this is the A matrix. This is the A matrix. And when we write this A is equal to MN, this A, M, N, this M will represent the total number of rows. So this is the number of rows. This is the rows. And so this is the m number of rows, and n will represent the total number of columns. So this means this is the columns, and this is the first column, second column, and up to n number of columns. So that's why we write it a is equal to a m n. So this is the a matrix with m number of rows and n number of columns. Always remember the first one will represent the uh, rows, and the second one will represent the number of columns. Well, we frame this matrix for so many economic applications as well as mathematical ap applications in our everyday life so i can give you some examples about how to understand in the basic the basic uses where we actually use those matrices or matrix okay so first of all taking an example about okay, suppose there is a firm or a company selling two different three different type of products in two different branches okay so it, for example, they are selling three different type of items. Item 1, item 2 and item 3. And they are selling it in uh, two different branches. That is branch number 1 and branch number 2. Let's take for example a Maruti company selling in two different uh, states. Suppose say these are the states. Uh, suppose these are the states um, in two different states. That is state 1 and state 2. And these are the items suppose say they are selling uh, alto maybe uh, maybe swift and maybe some another name suppose say desire or so okay so this maruti company is selling three different type of products that is alto swift and desire and then in two different states so what is the total number of items that is alto suppose the, suppose it is first item item is l2 and suppose say in state one okay what is the total number of items sold in state one and what is the total number of items or second item that is swift that is sold in suppose say assam that is 2876 similarly uh, in suppose say west bengal the second state uh, the number of l2 that is or item one that is being sold is suppose say 7542 in this way, we can represent, all right. So the second example, suppose say in an office, you want you need you want to have a data of let's like, suppose say how many number of peon, how many number of clerks, how many number of typists, how many number of head clerks, and how many number of suppose say HOD or superintendent that you have in your in a particular office or company. Or you can take one different example. Say suppose like the total number of or the category of students, suppose say uh, general, SC, ST, ST, and then suppose say OBC, that is that are being admitted in the department of uh, economics in a uh, university, suppose. So we can represent this way also that general, how many students are there, ST, how many students are there, SC, how many students are there, OBC, how many students are there, and so on. All right. So we can represent the, simply the numbers of certain variables. This suppose a peon is a variable, clerk is a variable, or says let's take for example this item A is a variable, and this state is also a variable. And accordingly, we represent all those variables and arrange them into certain rows and columns for our analysis. And I mean, we can do a lot of manipulations and we can do a lot of mathematical operations with those numbers for our information all right 
Now when we talk about uh, uh, matrix addition, let's talk a little bit about matrix addition. When and how we can add a matrix. Suppose say here we have a matrix A, M, N. Here M is the number of rows and N is the number of columns. And suppose say let's take for example here B, R, S. Alright. Now this B, R, S means R is the total, total number of rows and S is the total number of column so these are two two matrices a is a this is a, a matrix and this is a b matrix now when then when can these two matrices be can be added these two matrix, matrices can be added only when they follow the same order all right when they follow the same order that means they have to have a they have to have a same order here when we look at the order, suppose that this is A, M, N, A, what is the total number of rows here? How many rows we have? Three rows here. And what is the total number of columns we have here? Total number of columns is four. All right. Similarly, the second matrix, suppose B, what is the total number of rows? Three. And what is the total number of columns? That is four. Okay. Now, these two matrices, when they follow the same order okay a 3 4 and b 3 4 that means they, they have the same number of rows and the same number of columns then only these two matrices can be added all right so always remember that that means two matrices can be added only if and only if when they follow the same order okay so how it is being added just look here that means a plus b so having same number of rows right you can see the same number of rows three rows one two and three and how many columns sorry uh, how many columns we have here four columns right one two three and four similarly this b b matrix also has the same that means three rows and three columns and when you and then you can uh, follow the matrix addition rule that means 20 plus 10, 25 plus 15, 22 plus 20, 20 plus 20 and similarly uh, I mean the numbers which coincide with each other with the same respective rows and columns you have to add this and so ultimately we get what is called the addition of a matrix. So you can read this uh, actually you can also read that I mean I was trying to this is an example about the cells of cotton jute and yarn in two different quarters or say this is for the first half and suppose it is for the second half a company selling and this jute cotton and yarn okay and so we oh, suppose we want to see the total revenue or the total quantity that is being sold by a particular company ultimately we get what is for, uh, with, with the help of this matrix addition we can get this uh, number we can do this analysis all right now let's uh, the similarly the same thing when you are doing a matrix subtraction okay it should be of the same order here I'm putting an example you can just go through that okay then anyway when you are to subtract a two matrix it should also be of the same order here if you look at it uh, these two matrix y and q it is having two rows and it is having two columns so these two matrices are of the same order all right see y and q two rows two columns two columns then only a matrix can be added or subtracted only if and only if they follow they are of the same order or they follow the same order or they have the same number of rows and columns right so anyway if you look at this subtraction again now here so we will uh, what we do is we simply uh, subtract that with the respective number of uh, row and the respective number of column or the element we subtract that element which is lying in the same number of row or same number of columns see? so here 50 is in the same row first row and the first column and 30 here is in the first row and the first column so we can subtract this so ultimately we get what is the result I mean two matrices 
can be multiplied only if and only if the number of columns of the first row okay is equal to the total number of rows of the second matrix okay let's yeah, i'll give you an example here suppose we have a matrix here all right forget about the question or you may go through it later or you may understand it in your own way okay in in, in the later part of the uh, explanations okay anyway suppose say we have these two matrices here q is a matrix and c is a matrix here so first of all when you are to multiply a matrix look at the columns number of columns in the first matrix so this is this is a q matrix and the total number of columns here is three right now in the second matrix c matrix what is the total number of rows here three so what you have to do is here you have to look the columns here you have to look the number of rows okay and if this this both are equal for both the matrix then only you can go for matrix multiplication all right so that means if the total number of columns of the first row i mean the first matrix is equal to the total number of rows of the second column then only you can go for matrix multiplication all right so let's understand this with an example and how we do that actually see like we had this this q is your matrix and c is your matrix so how do we do that actually this is uh, called as the inverted l shaped or l shaped manner that is how we do a matrix multiplication so that means it is something like this inverted l shaped shaped okay so that means 10 into 4 look here 10 into 4 plus 10 into 4 plus 7 into 5 right 7 into 5 plus 3 into 6 so it is coming like this right so it is coming it is going this way and coming down like that so it is also known as the inverted l shape okay now your first row is over your first column is over you are done then so if you have one more column here then ultimately you will have to add one more column here that means 10 7 3 multiplied by suppose you have on another column here then you would have you should have been adding that numbers what you get here okay so now since you do not have another column now let's go to the second row okay for the second row you will go downwards all right here 4 into 4 plus 8 into 5 8 into 5 plus 10 into 6 all right so that is how we do that means this way and this way that means it is showing a inverted l shaped now similarly for the uh, third row similarly for the third row say suppose it is 4 into 4 right 4 into 4 plus uh, 7 into 5 plus 7 into 5 right plus 8 into 8 into 6 so here is a little bit of mistake here okay anyway just ignore it it should be 8 into 6 not 3 into 6 so what you do is ultimately you multiply them you add it up and what you get is called the matrix multiplication well there are so many uses okay so but you just have to remember that when you are to do a matrix multiplication the number of columns of the first matrix should be always equal to the number of rows of the second matrix only then if they are same you can go for matrix multiplication okay well i'll talk a little bit on matrix inversion also in my next video okay so these things are very much used in economic applications or in economic field so we will talk a little bit on uh, matrix inversion also well i'll stop here for today and i hope you will understand and if you have to have any queries or anything to ask you can just put it posted in my uh, link all right thank you